morning, Friday the 4th of May. Just uh, packed away now for my hotel in Pamukkalai. And uh, just about to leave. I'm going to do 20 kilometers to a town called Denzili. So we just need to go there now so we can uh, try and get some passport photos. So see if we can do that. Jamie's a bit tired today. He's completely tired today for some reason. Yes. It's hard work for him having to relax in the pools. <laughs> he's got more energy when he's biking. Yeah. So yeah. we hope he wakes up during the day. I'm sure yeah. he will. And today, the only thing is today we are. I'm tired and uh, yeah. And today we not do so much today. The only thing we are doing today we are. We are going to try to have a, a come to Iran and have a visa to Daddy too. You also need a visa. Yeah. Okay, let's uh. Let's roll. Let's get going. It's this way to Denzilin. One very straight road to Denzilin. This is not going to take very long. It's <laughs> too. 18 kilometers on this road. Entering the town of Dinsili. Looks like quite a big town. Oh, it was quick. We just moved ourselves 20 kilometers down the road to the center of Dinsili. Yeah, so, and now we've got this room here that's uh, quite cheap, but right in the center of the town. So we can uh, go out now and find a place to get uh, passport pictures taken. And uh, get Jamie's haircut, I think. He needs to have a very short haircut today. No. Nope. Oh, yes. No. Nope. And Let's then uh, now we've got a little desk here we could work on. I mean, to get the computer out today and get the application for the e run visa sent off here. So that's the job today. Get that uh, sent in. So we'll see if we can get that done without too much hassle. But probably going to be all these kind of things a hustle but uh, last thing to do now we're in the center of the town so we at least we've got everything we need here so okay we found the shop but it's closed well I'll find the guy of course now it's getting on to Friday afternoon so maybe everybody is in the mosque with the Friday prayers we don't know <laughs> we'll see if we can find somebody okay so now we're in a more authentic baker shop Today the lunch costs a fraction of what we gave yesterday. Much more interesting. Here we get free tea. The guy from the uh, passport photo shop has just called me and said that uh, now he's come back to the shop so we can come in 10 minutes and he'll take the pictures for our passport. So oh, that's good. Okay. Now the passport place is open. Yeah. We get our passport pictures taken. <laughs> Proper studio here, that'll be good. <laughs> so, maybe I will sit right here? Yes. Now that you are ready to uh, be, um, take a photo because you need to have a photo because how it is. Yeah. Okay, now we just have to wait 10 minutes. We should get the pictures, four pictures, and the file on a USB stick. So then we can. Uh, Go back to the hotel and get them sent in on the computer. Yeah. So, let's see. <laughs> now we're here in the shop. And our hotel is just down there. It's called Hotel. In Turkey they miss out the H. <laughs> it's quite easy really. Okay, the next one thing was to get our passports scanned. Manage that here in the internet cafe. Oh, there's a barber shop. That's the next thing for Jamie. Get the haircut off. That'll be good. Jamie's on his haircut number two on the trip. This time in Turkey. Very, very precise sort of job that's been done there. Let's see if it's more or less than four euros this time. 
David said his pick up in Turkey is really, really nice. Oh, wow. So now Jamie's been all shined up again. Cost 30 kroner, three pounds. <laughs> Including hair washing. Including, yeah, that's true. Spray and perfume and gel and I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Free coffee. And free coffee. cakes. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, back in the hotel now. Just working on the sending in the application on the computer. Some things you have to do all the get the documents ready first. We need to get the passport scanned in and then the document has to be uh, uh, re-sized on the computer. They tell you what dimensions the images have to be and uh, what format they have to be in and things like this. So, so we've got that for our passport pictures and now got the passport scanned in. So next job is to fill in the application form and then see if it'll go through. <laughs> James and Meta should, but not sure about mine yet. It'll be interesting how easy that is. That's the next job. Let's uh, give it a go and cross my fingers it works. Okay, my application form has now been sent. Doesn't mean I have a visa, it means I've just managed to fill in the form. <laughs> now Daddy is working to uh, make the visa to Iran and uh, yeah, you can see when it's a uh, um, um, tick. The green tick. <laughs> it it's because it's good. So yeah, so Medis job done. Good, Medis good. So that's one of Jamie's. Pretty cool picture he's got there. <laughs> With his new new hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Job is done. All three application forms went through now, even Jamie's. So that means, uh, yeah, the hard work for today is done. Doesn't actually mean we have a visa. All it means is that we have actually sent in the application form. Then we just have to sit back now and wait, I think about a week, and we'll see what happens. And they will write to us. If it goes through, then we have to go to a place called Ezerum. It's in uh, northeast Turkey. Well, we have to take our actual documents, our actual passport and uh, passport photos to them and collect the actual visa. But um, yeah. all we can do now is hope. We can't do much more. Yeah. We actually, we might have to go to an interview as well in Ezra. Uh, yeah. We hope we do and we can hopefully talk to them a bit and yeah. <laughs> say, please let us in. <laughs> yeah, and say, Daddy maybe can talk to them and say, love to see people and enjoy how the culture is. Hmm. So. Yeah. so, so that was good. We uh, I finished with our jobs today. All that's left to do now is find some kebabs. Yeah, so. <laughs> kebabs. <laughs> so that back. is favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so back out in the town, I think we're in a pretty central place here. So uh, uh, nice to be actually in a real Turkish town, not a tourist town. Okay, made us just been shopping. <laughs> I bought some Islam trousers maybe if all of a sudden it's not okay to walk around in shorts and I'm prepared and I found some really thin ones so I hope they're not going to be too hot for for biking in. Mm. So then I've got them ready to put on if all of a sudden shorts is like oh! Yeah, yeah. I assume we'll be in Eastern Turkey and yeah. then it's more conservative there. So, so then I'm prepared. Yeah. And they cost 15 lira so that is what, 125 Danish corner, that means under two pounds 50. So that was a good price. And new shoes, Nike. Oh, yeah, Jamie's biggest problem so far is he just seems to be growing as we're biking. So he's just, <laughs> he's just outgrowing all of the clothes we bought with him. That we've nearly had to throw away now. New yeah. swimming trunks today. Yeah. <laughs> new t-shirts, new, new shoes. shoes. What's happening to him? Yeah, hundred and hundred and fifty Danish kroner. Hundred and fifty Danish kroners. Mm. So it's cheap for because I think in Denmark it would cost five hundred kroners. So yes, mm. yeah. good price. Yeah. So now it's just time to relax with kebabs. All the work is done today. <laughs> This is a real kebab shop, so they can uh, 
eat here so we get full up tonight and it costs hardly any money here. Uh, much better. We can say a Friday cheers with beer to the Wittenborg people in Ryan's because no beer here. We have to say cheers with this ran, which is kind of you good milky drink. Mm -hmm. it tastes nice. That's what we got today. Yeah. So, cheers to everybody in Ryan's. <laughs> Once again, the guy appeared from somewhere down the road with a silver tray and three cups of chai. That's why that's what they call these. Cups of tea here in a glass or a glass of tea. They always have the same shape of glass called chai. You seem to be getting these everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny, they don't, they don't make the tea in the shop that we are actually in. They seem to everywhere, they just call like the shop that makes tea. Like, um, they bring it over to the shop. Yeah, with a silver tray with a handle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's funny how they can uh, they take the telephone ring, maybe 500 meters down there, and so the tea is coming. <laughs> and there we're on kebab number two. So it's much better today. Now we can just order as many kebabs as we need until we're full up. <laughs> much better than yesterday. <laughs> In the pink shirt. So, now we are finally full up and ready to bike again tomorrow. So, we just had two kebabs each, some oiran, which is the milk yogurt kind of thing, water, two cups of free tea, and it cost half of what we paid yesterday for two frozen pizzas and five chips. So, just shows move away from the tourist places and things just fall a lot in price. So. And do you like my new trousers? My new Islam trousers. <laughs> the funny thing is that me, Danish person, bought them from um, a Turkish girl in very modern and very modern jeans and I go and buy slam trousers. <laughs> yeah, you'll need them soon. <laughs> okay, that was good. Now let's go and have a rest. Tomorrow we're biking again. Biking to a lake, is it called Salda Lake? It's supposed to be like the Turkey's equivalent of the Maldives with the white sandy beaches. It's actually a lake. It's supposed to be a this lake with white sandy beach is supposed to be the waters that clean there. You can actually drink the water from the lake. That's what we've been told. Not sure whether it's true or not, but we'll see tomorrow. So, okay, let's go. Good night. See you tomorrow on the road, and uh, tomorrow the road will be a little bit more hilly, and we are going up to a mountain. Yeah, and uh, look at my new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. Do they do any dancing? Or what do they do? Oh, yeah. What do they do? You do. Oh, that's what they do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's our hotel there. Hotel. Anya Suit Hotel. Mm -hmm.